Hey guys, James again with TFB TV. I'm here with Ryan from Fime Group. And I saw this Vepper out of the corner of my eye and it obviously doesn't look like a traditional AK, but uh, damn, it's good looking. And Ryan, can you tell me and tell the viewers what a Vepper AK is? All right, so Fime, um, up until the sanctions, was importing the Vepers from Molot factory in Russia. Uh, the Moloff factory, it's a smaller than the Eshmash factory, but they put out outstanding quality. Um, these are built off the RPK receiver. Uh, and you can tell by the bulge on each side of the receiver there. It's a 1.5 millimeter thick stamped receiver, where standard AKs are one millimeter. So it's more robust. The barrels are about two times as thick as a standard AK barrel. Okay, and then the RPK being the light machine gun. For a lot of people, you know, there might be a lot of people watching that have no idea uh, about AKs and RPK versus uh, standard receivers, milled versus stamped. So in layman's terms, what about this? How is this a, a uniquity as far as AKs go? Well, uh, in this configuration, we bring them over in sporting configuration, which means we don't have to put any of the 922R parts on them uh, with this thumb hole stock. Uh, it's right-handed thumb hole stock. We've got uh, muzzle, muzzle devices that are pinned. We've got low capacity magazines. It's all 100% original Russian products, on, uh, Russian manufacturing on these. It's 922 compliant, but it's still 100% Russian because it meets whatever the import point right. thing, right? Uh, it meets import because, uh, yeah, that, and it doesn't have high capacity magazines. Magazine capacity on these, uh, it is all low capacity magazines. The biggest round, uh, the biggest magazines we brought in were 10 rounds, and that's only model specific. As soon as you want to convert this to accept high capacity, you need to do the conversion on your own. Okay. Uh, but we, we brought these in, uh, we did convert some called the FM AK series. Uh, but those are all gone now. But what we do have left is some of the, uh, the odd calibers a lot of people didn't realize that we brought through. Um, this one is a sought after, it's a 762-54R. We brought those in in three different barrel lengths, a 16 and a half, a 20 and a half, and a 23.2 inch barrels. Uh, what we still have stock in is... Uh, so these are gone, this the 54, like, like pictured here, gone? Uh, consider it gone. I mean, they're, they're floating around on Gun Broker. Uh, you know, they may have a few they release at the factory. We do have uh, like 6.5 Grendels. You know, 6.5 Grendels is a good round. Uh, in this configuration, we have all three of those barrel links. We have a 243 Winchester that came through in a 20 and a half inch barrel. We have a 223, which is, it will uh, accept the 5.56 NATO rounds in all three barrel links. Brought these in 30 6 for the hunters in the 20 and a half and 23.2 inch barrel links. And, uh, Works just like the standard AK, has the standard up and down safety, has the rock-in magazines. <laughs> we'll just leave that there. Get in the hole. And it's got uh, rock and lock mags, standard AK safety. It's got, you know, standard AK bolts. And they all do come with the side rail for a scope mount. Uh, this one currently has the Arsenal SM13 scope mount, uh, rail mount on it, low profile. Uh, they all come with RPK sights. The RPK sights are a thousand yards and the rear sight is windage and elevation adjustable. So what's the trigger like in the Vepers? The the trigger in the Vepers, it's it's a standard two stage, um, but uh, Fime Group we did manufacture a new trigger for the AK. Uh, it is a two stage U.S. made, fully 922R compliant trigger, uh, basically considered a drop in that would work great for these. They're all under forty five dollars. We've got them for the seven six two thirty nines. Uh, we've got a set for the 54Rs and the 30-06 and a set for the 12 gauge. So they all come with a walnut furniture. So you're going to get that custom color and grain each time. Uh, depending on the caliber, some of the, uh, the grip grain here is a little different, but it's very comfortable, nice rubber uh, buttstock. Uh, very easy to maintain, very reliable. Uh, so basically you consider these an investment grade purchase now. Now what are we talking about for prices between all the different calibers? 
Uh, check price is currently the most expensive is just under 930 and you're looking between 700 and 930 uh, for the MSRP but since they are turning into collector's items we don't see these being able to return anytime in the near future. Uh, people do buy these and they do convert them, convert them. It takes RPK furniture. I mean, it's the RPK receiver. So uh, there are people that take off the butt stocks when they do the conversion, they put their AR style stocks or whatever. All that's possible. And what are we looking at in terms of accuracy for these? Okay. I mean, you're gonna get, you know, sub MOAs on these. Yeah. But Is it's that an safe AK. To say? It's but it's an AK. People will combat that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. I mean, fantastic hunting rifles. Easy to carry, easier to shoulder. It, it looks strange, but it feels really comfortable once you mount it. That's what she said. <laughs> when I did it. <laughs> well, Ryan, thanks for being on TFB TV, showing us the Veppers. I think this is really neat. Kind of a, a strange corner of the AK world. You don't exactly see. A little kinky, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I appreciate you coming on the show and telling us hey, about it, man. Thanks for it's having always me. good to see you. Good. Take care. Thanks, guys.